Hey everybody, welcome back to your, uh, I believe it's your 24th Python tutorial? Who knows? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's right though. This video, I want to talk about NIST. I can't really pronounce that very well. NIST. <laughs> Basically, we're going to be talking about if statements within if statements. So, how does this work? Well, basically, we're going to test the first if statement, and then within that, it's going to test some other ones. So let's try this. So um, I'm not really going to give any practical examples for this. I'm just going to be showing you how it works so you can understand it. That way, in your programs, you can know how to do this when you need. All right, so let's say, let's, let's make a variable first. All right, score, and let's set it to zero. And then we say if score is greater than 100, print, you rock my socks off. Else, oops, loser. All right, so here are our two options it should return the second one, loser, or it should print that. All right, so that's how this works. Now, what if we have a nested if statement? That means we have an if statement within this block. So let's create a uh, variable. Money. So now we have score and we have money, okay? Now, when we copy this if statement down to here, we say, within here, we could say, if money is greater than 50, or let's say, if money is greater than or equal to 50, print, you win. All right, so in order for this to win, in order for you to get this message, you have to have a score that's over 100. And then we have a test if money is greater than or equal to 50. We can also add an else statement to this. close enough. Alright, so let's just take a look at this and see how this is going to work. And you know what, I think I'm going to, actually I'll do that when I'm pausing. Anyway, anyways, basically now it has an if statement and it tests if your score is over 100. If it is, you rock my socks off and we can say you have enough points. Then it tests to say if your money is over 50 and if it is, you win. If it's not, you have enough score, but you do not have enough monies. And then if you, for some reason, don't have enough score, then you get print loser. So how does Python run this? Well, it goes from the outer block first, okay? So it does this one, and if it tests true, it goes and does all of this. If it tests false, it does all of this. So let's say it tests true, so then it works its way in. First it's going to run this, and it'll continue running until we get to th this if statement. If this is ran as true, this, this part right here, then this is ran. If it's ran as false, then this is ran. So let's, let's try it. We should just get loser because we don't have enough, of, enough score. All right, so now let's change score to uh, 9001. And then we can take this if statement, we can copy it back down here. Now what's going to happen is we should get you win. We should, it should print you rock my socks off, you have enough points. And then it should print out you win. That's because our score is greater than 100 and uh, our money is greater than or equal to 50. So let's try it. Wow, that's awesome. So that's just the basics of how a nested if statement will work. And you might get very long programs, so you might have like if something, and then you might put your like whole program in there to check if a certain value is met or whatever. It doesn't really matter how you use this. I just want you to know that it's possible, and this is how you set it up. Uh, one thing that you need to pay attention to very closely 
is the indentation. You see here is an indent, here is a second indent. These are what's known as blocks, okay? Now, you can go through the effort to like label each block, like block A, B, or C, or whatever, but I just think that's a bunch of unnecessary work. Basically, just think that the first one, that's going to be all the way to the left, and that's the, that's the code that it's ran first, and then, if that's tested as true, it goes in one indent, and then if that's tested as true, it goes in one more indent. So when we're looking at the structure of our program, we can work our way backwards. We see these are the farthest one indented, so they are part of this if statement. And then this whole block as a whole is part of this if statement. And it's important to maintain that or else you're going to get some funky things happening. All right, so pay attention to the indents, which allows you to see that this if goes with this else and also this if goes with this else. Otherwise, you're going to get very confused very quickly and you'll probably get some errors. Alright, so that's all I have to say in this video, so I will see you in the next one.